Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. I am loving this game. Oh my god. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, we are going to the. Oh, 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 thanks for that, Ada. We are going to the Hope to to jump the ship to Phineas's lab. And uh, yeah, let's go. And I still expect so many, so many surprises from this game. And I'm just amazed. It's so good. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Oh, uh, if you want to just one shot a lot of people, I guess sneak attack is the way to go. Sneak attack and probably long guns. I didn't go for that because I, you would also need like a, a silencer. I did that a little bit, but I'm like a team player here, so that's more like a strategy if you go alone. And if you do that, you can also pick up like a damage bonus. So this looks exactly like the groundbreaker. <clears throat> Which is not super surprising. Wait. What? They are already here. Don't mess with us. Nobody okay? Great. Are we good? Okay. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Patch. Uh. Root and auxiliary power source to supplement UDL's reactor. We did that. Status. Okay. Maintenance status. Yeah, it's overdue by 22,000 days. Oh my god, how many years is this? I kind of want to calculate this. Fuck, we gotta calculate this. I got a calculator out. Let's go with 22,000 times 365. So that's 60 years. <clears throat> Pending work orders. Whatever. Hibernation uh, storage status. Okay. Uh, interesting. So. Wow. What's the deal with this? Are they Let's chugging out colonists? Run in a hurry. I'm gonna find... If we might find the corporation taking out colonists out of their pods <clears throat> and just killing them. Oh, we can trash that. Well, that's kind of what I suspect, because... You know, with like 91%, even 93%, you know, you can make the argument that <clears throat> maybe some colonists died, or maybe the it malfunctioned somewhat. It, it, actually, that could still be a, a justification. I suppose. Okay. And we need stealth skills for this. Got nimble fingers, Captain. I do. I would like to try different strategies in this game. <clears throat> but on my second playthrough, I wouldn't mind if the game was harder. The game was pretty hard at the start. But I don't wanna play alone. I don't I don't like to play without companions, that's for sure. So that's certainly gonna make the game super easy because the thing is they can just uh win without me <clears throat> this whole starving to death thing isn't all it's cracked up to be on the upside the bathrooms are the cleanest they have been since we left port it's made my job a hell of a lot easier wow <clears throat> i'm just gonna put back my armor that's not my armor. <laughs> uh, this is my armor. Right. And uh, that should be good enough as a helmet. I'm not too picky about it. Why is he so thank you? Try 
try that again. Terminal. <clears throat> Darling, I just had a frightening ep epiphany. What's wrong? I just realized that we'll be nearing our 50s when we arrive in Halcyon. <clears throat> yeah, that's true that uh, hibernation only slows down aging. I guess? Or maybe not. Okay, no. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. As, as far as I know... But I, I guess this is all just... But it technically it should just very much slow down aging. So maybe, maybe it's just talking about the numbers. Yes, but our Lucas, <clears throat> but our Lucas, when they wake him up, he'll be six. By the time he's out of schooling, we'll be nearly 60. I feel as though time is being stolen from me. He'll work on the ship when he graduates. We'll see him again. I hope so. I will. I will. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. So... Robophobia. Perks are pointless. I wish these uh, perks had uh, more interesting downsides. Security alert detected. There we go. That was a nice warm up. <clears throat> I I am pretending to be them. I don't know. <clears throat> It doesn't really matter because they they need to be killed anyway. Shock and an ultra. Ah, oh, this is just trash. Okay, so many stairs. Okay, spade. Ooh, what you find? Probably not much. Also, like I didn't really get to use all my credits. If the game is going to end. Well, it's probably gonna end <clears throat> in like ten hours at most. I feel like Probably a lot less. Oh, you got that? Yeah, we'll just destroy that. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep reading here. Uh, <clears throat> maybe. Look, Captain, this is what I was talking about. We're slowing down. Razzy, pretend for a second that when I look at your screen, all I see is unintelligible math. <clears throat> okay, okay. See this line? That's us. This one, uh, that's where we should be. This one, that's where we're going. Very of course. And I think it's because we are... What the hell was that? I, I, I don't. Will, Will! <laughs> What's going on, uh, there, Frank? 
I was going to ask you the same thing. The engines just braced. We hit the brakes. The brakes. Go ahead, Frank. As of you know, the ship dropped out of faster than light travel. We gotta spin up the, the skip drive again. Why are we talking instead of doing? It ain't that simple, you haul head. How many people are here? Hunty, Noda, Volkov, No. Yeah. Oh man. I, I'm not gonna make an effort to try to give them different voices. I'm just gonna read this shit. Frank, I'm sorry if you, if I could just hit a button and skip us back to speed, I would. But Nev's gotta plot a course. Yes, dropping to sublight speeds mean we are quite a ways off course. The navigational computer will be helpful, but it'll take, well, I don't know how long it'll take. I have to get this right. Any errors and we could fly through a planet or a star. Plus, we'll need to count up the fuel reserves. If we try to skip without the energy we need, we'll s Well, shit. I'm not sure. I think we'll just explode. Iron lung explodes. What if we don't have enough fuel? Then we fly slow. And how long will this take? I don't know yet. I need to run the numbers, but um, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. For now, Frank, see to that fuel. Razzy, assume he can get us back to skip space and plot a course. Let's go. <clears throat> the usual mantra has always been prevention. If you don't have problems, you don't need a plan to, for dealing with them. That's actually very smart. That's how you uh, deal with most problems, you know? Because by not creating problems, or just dealing with problems, or just... The thing is, if you just put off problems, it, they just become more problems, bigger problems. So, that's actually quite smart. Before I was assigned to this ridiculous journey, I ran budgets for our galas. How much does it cost to staff an ocean liner? How much food do we need? I always put safety precautions, lifeboats, sick kits, flares, whatever I could think of in a separate category from the rest of the budget. In my gut, I know I should plan for them. I think I got that from Donna. But my boss always redacted them. Why spend money on emergency supplies when we can spend money on not having an emergency in the first place? Hire a better crew, build the ship out of better materials. Find better content. From pleasure at cruisers to colony ships, I guess nothing changes. They gave us 10 years of rations and we used 9 of it. Rezi is saying it's going to take us 26 years to get to Halcyon if we can spin up the skip drive. Anyway, I can carve this up. Someone's gonna starve. I want this on record. We are fucked. It ain't because of the equipment. The skip drive is toast. I don't know what the hell happened, but it ain't even getting to prelim psycho boosters. Captain says we got food for a year. Rest says it's gonna take 26 to get there on STL. Back home, I saw folks lose their minds going hungry for a week. A week. We ain't gonna last a bloody month if we don't figure something out. I guess they decided to put themselves on ice. Maybe they never even woke me up. <clears throat> this is my ship. They were making decisions for me. You see the cryopods. Is that my cryopod? You see a blinking red light. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Access to storage pod is currently unavailable. Normal. Pod count 9999. This is my bay. I'm pretty sure there were 10,000 people here, and I'm pretty sure uh, Phileas took me from that spot. Logs. <clears throat> Pod removal, CB 524. 
removed by unknown crew member occupant light. Yeah. He chose me out of 10,000. <clears throat> Automated audio transcript uh, R2793. Unknown, hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Uh, definitely, Phileas is the right, one Captain? who wrote this. I mean, seeing this place again. <clears throat> Not like I have too many memories of it. But it's kind of freaky to see people this way. Imagine, like, you know, uh, packaging people like uh, sardines in a can and just putting them on ice. That's what this place is. <clears throat> but the sardines are alive. <clears throat> Warning. Unauthorized access will be... Oh, okay. We already read... Uh, know about that. Manual log. Dear diary, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we are going to eat. But none of it means anything if he can't keep us... If I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through spaces. I don't know how I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudged decimal point, one off by one miscalculation, we could crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of colonists. They just never wake up. Lucky them. Oh, I don't like this format. It's so messy. Hunter and Noda. <clears throat> I called you all here because... The numbers on our rations are off. Off? What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they have the same... At least they should have different colored names. <clears throat> oh, extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. <clears throat> Hunt a V? Hunt a D? Oh my fucking god. Alright. Oh my god. Why not just at least... Uh, why have the last name first? Hunt V, Hunt D. Oh my god. This is such a mess. I wanna stop caring. Okay, I'm just gonna read it in one voice. Fuck it. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have stashed somewhere. So, someone could have brought some from Earth. If they did, we need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us all. Yeah, but if I, I had some stash away food, I'm pretty sure I would just keep it secret and I would just uh, eat from the rations. And if I felt generous at the end, I would just share my food. But I'm pretty sure I would just uh, keep it secret. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. This is about ownership. This is about... This isn't about ownership. This is about survival. We are going to run out eventually. And the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. Alright, alright. I want everyone to interrogate their crew. Find whoever not eating their share and bring them forward. Wow. <clears throat> what if they just not hungry? Perhaps there is hope yet. Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left Earth, she was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me. So that whenever we end up, I might start my own garden. Yeah, but I hate to break it to you, but... Tomatoes, lemons, and limes. Those are not very calorie dense. They're basically eating nothing. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, they can be, you know, very tasty, I guess. But you're not gonna, like, I can't even imagine something as crazy. Like, imagine, like, trying to get your calorie requirements for the day. I think tomatoes would be the least uh, painful approach. Lemons and limes? Whew. 
I mean, that's assuming that that's even possible. But like, let, let's say that was the only option. Eating lemons and limes. I don't know. Now, my buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it is something. If there's a hydroponics bay and there's like anything else, like rice or rice might be the easiest or potatoes. I think rice might be the best. I think rice might be the best. I'm not not really an expert, but like you need something with calories, okay? That grows fast. And I'm not sure about the specifics here, but like, you know, but, or potatoes could be okay as well. Whatever. I don't really know. <sighs> I remember you every day, Mamachka. Now more than ever. Wow. Oh. You fucking idiot. You're not gonna eat lemons every day. <laughs> Automated audio transcript. No, help me. It worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. Now, how the fuck do I break the news to the captain? What worked? Cap, I <coughs> wanted this on record. Sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? Don't need it. Don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you own up to this, but start eating your full share. That's an order. All due respect, Cap. We up shit's creek. I'm not sure that's an order. Means a lot right now. It holds weight more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, I ain't doing it. So either shove that shit down my throat yourself or give me my leftovers to someone else. But the captain does make a good point. Error. Oh, fuck. data not found. Identify yourself. I'm called, uh, in the face shooty. Alert, intruder on the premises. Instant. They're on us. Uh, yep, that's fine. Sure. Root communications through the unreliable. I'll do that. Can you hear me, Captain? Yep. I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. <laughs> Would you like me to play a mood suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? No. Oh, sorry. File not found. That's good. Logs. <clears throat> begin audio log. Is this thing working? I said begin audio. Damn it. This is uh this is uh P Valus. Yes, let's go with that. A uh, work continues on test subject 112, retrieved from Hibernation Bay 8. Time of extraction, oh, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, uh, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis. Haunting my every attempt at reviving our, our frozen colonists. It's very likely that Phyllis uh, is from this ship. Making a mockery of my press procedures. I've tried every combination. This would also explain his... Uh, emotional possibly like is attach attachment to this ship because yeah I, I think that just makes a lot of sense you know he knows about the ship and he really wants to uh do right by these colonists <clears throat> making a mockery of my procedures i've tried every combination of every chemical available to me attempted every variation of every possible towing procedure a, a gradual melt a flash tow extremities first brain first don't know how much more I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last tw uh, 72. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Uh, seems like I wasn't the first. That's subject 112. Real name, Harley Stanton. Age 39. Enjoying singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. Begin audio log as soon as... I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculous inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? 
don't know why I'm uh, talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on. Make it... Make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well... Well... My frigid friend, you dissipate the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Thank the law of disposable gloves. Steady now. Steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. Who makes these anyway? Space's choice? Alright, I got no choice. I'm going in. Was it me? Who ate 36 prior? Or within the window of hib uh, getting hibernated? Okay. I can use the lift. And there are multiple floors here. Yeah. I check out the the last door. What? Why the fuck we have a mega spread? What the fuck? Oh, we was eating the colonists, right? Right? That would explain stuff. That I assault rifle too. We don't seem to be able to. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? No, not yet. That does it. I'm never ever getting in one of those pods. I don't wanna look look that way just yet. I don't know what in the void just happened, so I'm writing this down in case I'm going insane. Pulled the guy out of a pod and his arm got all clammy, rubbery almost. I poked at it for a bit and it started to fucking liquefy, like it was made of water. Stuffed him back in quick as I could, but the rest of him ain't it good that way. Ate in a good way. Don't, don't think he'll make it. This better not be fucking trend, or after all this, we're gonna starve anyway, Frank. So it looks like that these rats were possibly eating colonists. What? Flame Trover instead of a colonist? But that makes no sense. Not like they're like ordering them off the the line. No, 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 no. Maybe they were chumming on some of them. That the corporation got out. I don't know. It makes no sense though. Okay, I give up. This civil war nonsense is exhausting. Blood everywhere. Every time I turn around, another part of the ship has been sealed off. How the hell am I supposed to do my job if the captain locks all the damn doors? Fuck it. I'm gonna find a way to lock myself in a hibernation chamber and they can... Wake my ass up when I arrive at the colony. Have fun cleaning your own floors from now on, assholes. Yeah. Okay, let's check the engine room. This place is not in good shape and also seems like resurrecting the colonists is gonna be even trickier than expected. Interstellar crew. We only care about heavy armor. Wow. Uh, sure. I guess we're gonna snoop around a little bit. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? I'm not sure we have the time. No. That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, 
Organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. I don't know if they should be in here, Captain. It should be private, shouldn't it? Well, they're dead. And some info could help us. Alas, Mamochka, I failed. The, the tomatoes die on their stalks. Something must be wrong with the soil. We have a month of rations. The crew talks of cannibalism. My Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits and to bar the way from those too far gone. At nights, while my stomach grumbles, I fear I too might stray toward that dark path. But I think of Lucas asleep in his pod, and I think of all those other sons and daughters and mothers and fathers. If I woke up on, in Halcyon and my family had been devoured by these ghoulish men, I would steal my resolve. I will resist. There's not much you can do. You, you will die. The physical effects of starvation were all well documented, but we never learned about the toll they take on your mind. The things you hold true become walls between hunger and satisfaction. The difference between right and wrong blurs. I told Frank we'd eat about a third of the colonists in order to survive our journey. When we still had rations, that seemed impossibly unjust. Tens of thousands of innocent people to save 24. I'm not so sure. Attention all crew. I don't know who let... Uh, Frank Nolda out of his cell, but he's now uh, an enemy of this ship. Anyone in league with him will be imprisoned for the duration of our journey. Anyone caught tampering with the cold storage pods will be frozen, and upon our arrival in Halcyon will be turned in to the authorities. I'm locking off the cold storage base, Frank. If you could hear me, there's still time to turn yourself in. Please. Rezzy, can you get us to Halcyon? Uh, I've been working on it. Can you get us there? I have to, Captain. Good. Beat me on the bridge. We make our last stand there. Wait, what about Donna? She won't be joining us. What the hell? What happened? I'll fill you in when you get there. Hurry. Okay, fuck. I, I can't believe this is happening. Okay. They have some good logs. I would be missing out for sure if I was not reading it. Not just some dumb bureaucratic nonsense and inefficiency. That that is kind of kind of fun to read about, but uh, it can be a bit too much at times. What the fuck? What kind of quarters you got? Okay. Sealed. Forgive me. Frank offered me so a tiny piece. It tasted like... It doesn't matter what it tasted like. It was delicious. I loved it. Let it be known that I broke the lock to my personal quarters. Not Wilhelm. I'll die he in here. And that's my choice. Is she dead? That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Once we switch that thing on, we can get out of here, right? Um... We'll see. Perfecto! Can't get in there. Pfft. 
That's very surprising. So this guy had some food left. It's just kind of silly if, like, you know, everyone was starving, and, like, they didn't want to tempt us. We find they food randomly. Up. What we got here? <clears throat> what is it, Rezzy? Captain, hey, I, I, sorry for waking you. One of the pod alarms went off. I didn't know what to do. Pod alarms? The colonists? Yeah, see? I'll check it out, thanks. I'm writing this down because I'm not sure what to do, but I want the incident on record. One of our colonists has gone missing. The cameras in the pod bay have been deactivated for I don't know how long. Rezzy helped me hook another up in secret. I've been checking on, ev on it every morning, and today I discovered our chief engineer tampering with one of the pods in the middle of the night. I haven't confronted him yet. I'll collect more evidence before I do. I don't know why Frank would start waking people up. We are short on food as is. Yeah. I should throw you out of the fucking airlock, Frank. You should be thanking me for solving our food crisis. This is your solution? Sacrificing innocent people? What's going on? <clears throat> Rezzy, find Alexei. We are throwing Frank in the brig. What? Why? He's being... He, he's the one who's tampering with the pods. Oh, what? You're going to spare her the grisly details? I ate them, Rezzy. Come on. You probably didn't eat all of them. You ate them? And I ain't apologizing for it. If we don't survive, they are as good as dead anyway. I'm... Oh, no. I can't. I'm going to be sick. Just found Alexei. Okay, okay. I've been talking to Frank. And? How's the break? Captain, he makes a kind of sense? Damn it, Alexei. Not you too. Don't listen to that madman. What if your wife can grow more food? What if it fails? Come on, tomatoes and fucking lemons. That's bullshit. It gotta be like something more than that. Then we'll figure something else out. We're not cannibals. Frank kind of makes sense. I know this piece is just a really bad option. But he's kind of making sense. Okay. Advanced helmets. Right. Heavy machine gun. That's the best thing. Just let, let me pass, okay? I would use heavy weapons more if they had a little bit better accuracy. Many times accuracy is also important, just for DPS. Also, they are not, not the most ammo efficient, but ammo efficiency doesn't really matter. That's why I feel like playing this game with less loot could be fun, because I I basically used some light ammo early in the game, and now I'm mostly using, basically exclusive using heavy ammo, and even this, even like this I'm keeping up, like, the, the amount of heavy ammo I find is just uh, plenty, and I, I never need to buy ammo. I'm not saying that this is a, a wrong experience, by any means. This is kind of fun, you know? Like, you don't worry about it, you just shoot and th that's cool. And the companions don't use any ammo. But, you know, some players might enjoy just uh, a more challenging way to play. Because currently I feel like melee uh, and uh, one-handed kind of pointless. When it comes to weapons, they just don't deal as much damage. I think the best pistol is like like almost 500 dps or like almost 600 maybe but that's the best and it costs 8000 credits to buy and you don't i i have not even found one of those but that's the best pistol which is not necessarily bad you know if it's like ammo efficient and whatnot And in Fallout, uh, you you use 
like the small guns early in the game, then you like transition into something else. Maybe you kept using small guns, that was totally viable. But it wasn't the best option all game long. But it, it's not like that in this game. You can just uh, use uh, basically all, all, all types of weapon skills from the start. Well, as, as long as you find one type of weapon that qualifies. Uh, and it doesn't really matter because early on you're just pushing your points anyway. So you, you're kind of using all of them until you specialize in something. Okay. Uh, comms? Auxiliary comms are available through the docking bay. Patch it through. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Uh, wait before I do this. Tell me, Ada. Am I really doing the right thing? Probably not, <laughs> but don't let that stop you. Hmm. Our consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, oh, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Right. I'm ready to skip the hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Great. Let's keep it. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Do it. You do it. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. <laughs> the Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Uh, well, it would be preferable if the Hope wouldn't have to do this. I'm not even sure if that's it. I just have mixed feelings. Maybe it would be better? I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with alternatives. But it is true that uh, the Hope is probably has the best chance at Terra 2 now. Terra 1 would need time uh, to be viable long term. Oh good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Perhaps I should do that. Did we move? I hardly felt a thing. Was that an attempt at humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. Okay. Uh, I'm not going the right way. Looks like we might need to go for a uh, sleep and a snack. But I'm concerned. Like, I'm not sure how this is going to solve our problems. Uh, just... Yeah, these colonists definitely deserve a chance, but... The food problem is definitely concerning.
Okay, F Phineas, where the hell are you? Will he ever leave? Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with Captain. I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Oh, Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. <laughs> you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. Very important. You fucking important. pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Let's do that. Oh, I guess that's Goodbye. it. Goodbye. Went there to Phineas Wells' lab, but... Transition to the Hope? Yeah. I guess we're gonna jump there, then sleep, then then, <laughs> then have a chat with him. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or yeah, I mean, like we're coming here as fast as possible. I'm definitely not sleeping here. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, any food? Uh, that's not food. That's not food either. What the fuck is food? That's food. That looks like food. Ah, uh, that's not food. Ah, uh, but I guess that's food too. That wasn't food. Shit. That was really not food. Uh Oh, that's not... That was a special... Just... I just eat that. Is that food? Toothpaste? No, that's not food either. <laughs> oh yeah, that's food. Crispy chops. That's good. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the wild trying to figure out what's food and what not. <laughs> but it's like, they're all packaged. And you don't, sh <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Most I have drugs. Have you ever had that issue when you're just like trying to eat food, but you accidentally done drugs instead? <laughs> or you tried to drink water, but you got drunk instead, accidentally? That used to be quite a bit. Oh my god! Do I need to take this fight seriously? That's like a decent helmet. It's not great. But I guess it's better than what we usually see. Was the tech shot getting enhanced? Yes! They're actually running around with enhanced weapons now. This is what I would have liked to see more of. Okay. Phineas? How did I get in? Oh, the door must be open. Ellie Troop Armor Gold. That's that's a pretty good armor. Ellie, can you wear that and get an advantage? So it would be 79 to 75. Uh, what about my character? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Um, let's wear this one because it gives me leadership and uh, I guess put on this helmet what? advanced well that's still not amazing
Phidias, are you okay? Apparently, oh, you gotta click on something. Heck 90 bypass. Okay, so the high hacking skill is gonna come in handy. That I currently don't have, we have to prepare it. Uh, it's stealth skill. So this pushes up my hacking to 85, I believe. 80. What? Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, 90. Uh, let's go. Bypass. If you're seeing the screen, I, Phineas v Vallas, have been perniculously kidnapped and very probably incarcerated by the perfidious and cowardly government of Halcyon in the prison fortress of Tartarus. If I have not already been executed for charges leveled against me, I hope the person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me, preferably the latter. This screen constitutes my last will and testament. I command my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the Aether. If this is light, I prepared an emergency care package located in the hidden panel, unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. First entry. It would be a nice uh, to learn about him. <laughs> The hope made it to Halcyon after all. 25 years too late. The board doesn't know what to do with an entire ship full of frozen colonists. So naturally, they're going to leave them there. Corporate tells us revival is impossible. They've tried absolutely nothing and apparently they are all out of options. Balder Bash. Cellular and regeneration after long-term hibernation is really just a question of thermodynamics. I'm quite confident I can find a way to revive the Hope's colonists if only corporate would authorize my requests. Frankly, I don't see why I need the permission of my employers to uh, conduct experiments in the name of scientific advancements. What nonsense! Did Newton beg permission from his employers before discovering the free laws of motion? Genius is not beholden to the I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This sit, sit the dudes of bureaucracy. I don't know. I would need to look that up. Uh, besides, the the hope has a cargo of hundreds of thousands of colonists. The board practically expects a few to go missing. One hundred thirty. 13 seconds. A new record. Most of my subjects last. Uh, 93 seconds. On average, before total cellular lake affection reduces them to several gallons of organic soup, 3 degrees above freezing temperature. 113 seconds of screaming. This subject was stronger than the others, but in the end, his body failed to survive the revival process. He was my 12th subject to die. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Strictly speaking, I do know the hope has hundreds of thousands of colonists. I've only experimented on 12. How many more experiments before I successfully revive a single subject? 1, 10, 100, 500? Statistically insignificant. If I experimented on one subject every month, I would not make a dent in hope's population in a lifetime. Can still hear the screaming, trouble, Sleeping, trouble, concentrating, psychological toll, significant. On the subject matter 13. I've always suspected this would happen. The board finally discovered what I've done and sent their headhunters to track me down. But they never find me. They say I'm a murderer. And they are right, I am. I regret what I've done, but I'm not about to turn myself into the board. I'm not going to go begging to, board's forgive to the board's forgiveness. Only the Hope's colonists can forgive me for what I've done. They are the only people who can set things right. 
and I'm going to find a way to revive them, no matter how long I have to stay hide in hiding. I've got my notes with me, I have my equipment, and now I have this lab. It's time I returned to work. Uh, return to root. Open panel. That's it. So, we can bust him out of Tartars. High DPS long gun that these end ray damage. Space of choice. I guess we can try it. <sighs> you better teach me that. Well, you're free to check it out. You can sleep in his bed. Didn't have much going on here. So I'm level 30, and it seems like I will keep leveling. Uh, is this good enough? So I have a way to boost it by 20. And I can also get drunk. I can I can boost it up to Yeah, I think that's already at at a point where it's enough. I, I don't know. I just go with more science. 85 science. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Oh yeah, last time we went with determination. Let's go with that. Make my companions have more HP. It, it really doesn't matter too much because at this point they have 4500 health. So determination is worth less and less. It basically does nothing now. And we have a choice between... I don't fucking know. There's nothing to pick. Science weapon damage. But is that a science weapon? It's a spacer's choice, not a science weapon. This is a science weapon. It has that special look to it. I already checked out everything and there's just nothing to pick. I can increase the TTD meter. Let's go with what we go with Ellie and even they don't really have anything to pick. I recovered 25 health when I'm fatally wounded. But I, I can... I can guard myself, not a problem. Companion ability damage. I guess that could be nice. If I'm actually bothering to use their abilities. It's fine, Parvati. TTD meter and Parvati performs her ability. Like if it becomes like a tough uh, situation, then we can use the V band of brothers, which is just ridiculously strong. I'm not really doing that. I'm not using their skills, but I can just basically spam their skills non-stop, non-stop stun and like whatever. It's good. Let's go with slow the world. TT re restored per kill. TTD recharge rate. So, like, we could have went with something like that. I mean, that, that could have been a, a decent choice. I just... The thing is, the fights are so, so short, usually, that TTD recharge and skill recharge, anything that's not instant, is kind of pointless. Examine? Subject may be unstable. <laughs> oh, that's about me. Love it. Why did we just say that? <laughs> oh. I 
can't believe he said that about me. So Tartarus is a prison, and we gotta bust him out. We don't have to do it. Actually, that's probably we don't have too much else to do. Find the second beacon. Confront the chairman. Make your way through Tartarus and confront Chairman Rockwell. That's where we have to uh, Captain, go. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet. Sounds fun. I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Right. Oh, it seems like we are very much coming to so, a conclusion. So, Phineas got himself taken to Tartarus. That's usually a one-way trip. Chub gentle robot. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him. If we have any hope of saving the colony. Also, we gotta kill Rockwell. Or whatever his name is. Yeah. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, what? I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Crew, what do you think about all this? It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. Wow. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But... Maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The right. entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Uh, we're doing it. Everyone strap in. Uh, we'll go eventually, but we better prepare. We gonna prepare? Sure. Guess I could give my ass kicking boots another coat of polish. You got some sort of plan in mind? Uh... We played smart. Talk our way through if you can. The fewer folks we got to hurt, the better. Maybe on our way out, we let all those poor souls locked up in there go free. Ooh. Sure, boss. You do the talking. I'll pack a few more rounds of ammo. <laughs> Alright. So, let's save. Seems like we are preparing for something big here. And, uh, yeah. I guess this is a good time to take a break and... Next mission is gonna be quite big. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.